Hanafis and make He's talking about witter prayer. Right, the witter prayer. And the witter means uh, single or odd. Right. And the Prophet وسلم, was uh, prescribed as praying witter in uh, different ways. In order to make it easy for his ummah, for his uh, followers. Right, right. So, amongst those ways is to pray two rakahs, two by two, two by two, as many as you want, you know. Uh, for tahajjud, then whenever you're due or you're ready to finish your tahajjud, you just pray one single rakah, which is called Salat al Right. It's a very important and significant prayer. The Prophet وسلم, used to observe it even if he was traveling, where he used to uh, left or drop the rest of the nawafil, except for two things, the two rakahs before Fajr and Salat al Even if he was traveling, even on the battlefield, that in, signifies the importance of uh, Salat al -Wich. So he was reported, he was seen by the companions, by his wives, praying which either uh, two rakahs, then uh, tashahud, then taslim, right. finish the, this, these two units, then make up one independent unit, which is which. This right. is one way. And the second way is to pray the three rakahs all together okay. without tashahud in between without sitting for the Drut Sharif in between. There is one way which is restricted, and this way is adopted by some of the Hanafi school of thought. Okay. Okay. But once we verify this way is been restricted by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, لا تشبه الوتر بالمغرب Do not make the witch prayer look like Maghrib. Right. In what sense? Maghrib is also three rakahs. But, after the second rak'ah, we sit for the middle tashahud. And we do not make taslim, rather we resume. So we pray three units, and after the second unit, the second rak'ah, we sit for the middle tashahud, right? So we're not allowed to do that in the case of the witch. And now, once we realize that, I'm not supposed to say, but I'm, I'm Hanafi, or I'm Shafi, or I'm Malki. No. I want to tell you that, according to what madhab Imam Abu Hanifa used to pray, he used to follow the prayer of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And if Imam Hanifa is alive today and he have heard this hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he would have definitely adopted this way. Right. Because Allah subhanahu wa taala said in the Quran, "وَمَا أَتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُوا." Whatever the messenger of Allah gives you, you must take it, you must copy it, you must do it. And whatever he prohibits you from, you must abstain totally from it. Right, right. And he said in the hadith which is just indicated in answer uh, Sister Yasmin's question, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. This is with regards to the prayer. With regards to hajj, khudu anni ma nasikakum. So if somebody says, but Sheikh so and so said this way, say, I'm telling you, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do it this way. Right. And you tell me, Sheikh Muhammad Salah said another way, there is no comparison. The source of Legislation and teaching us the Quran and explaining to us how to do is only Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he is more worthy to be followed than anybody else. I couldn't have said it better. Thank you.